Police in Rockland say two senior citizens were targeted in the so-called grandparent scam this month. Yeah, that's where thieves pretend to be a grandchild in trouble in a foreign country desperate for money. Well, KCRA3's Brian Heap is live for us with how a harmless social media post could make you an easier target. Brian. Uh, Golston, go ahead and grab your smartphone or your tablet at home because you're going to want to check those privacy settings by the time this story is over. These two sets of grandparents lost a combined, get this, eight thousand dollars as a result of this scam and it, they may have been targeted because of something that was posted on social media. Hit up Shine Cafe any night and you'll find lots of people glued to their laptops and tablets. For Kevon Chase, her computer time is more for work than socializing. I'm not a big Facebook fan because like I just believe in my privacy and I'm not open to just strangers like that. I don't put all my business out there. She may be of the social media generation, but Chase says it's just not her thing. That's why you get Facebook timelines and stuff that has every single detail of someone's day, their life, the drama they're going through. There is a lot of self-esteem, a lot of validity, a lot of value placed on the number of likes, retweets, follows that you get. Thomas Dodson runs a nonprofit called Above the Fray, which specializes in social media safety for kids and parents. He says sometimes users put the quest for internet glory ahead of safety. It's that approach that can put sensitive information in the wrong hands, and in the case of the grandparent scam, make the liar's story that much more believable. I think this is going to continue. I think we're going to continue to see iterations of this sort of scam as information continues to get put out there. Dodson says it starts with privacy settings and routinely checking them. He says often when an app is updated, settings can change. If you click on view as, that will allow you to see your Facebook profile as someone else. Dodson says this is a helpful tool to go back through your timeline to see what non-friends can see and make adjustments. It's all about staying one step ahead. And that's really what this story about the grandparent scam comes down to. Staying one step ahead, police will tell you that they begin to catch up with these crooks, and then the crooks just begin to evolve like we showed you there in the story. Reporting live in downtown Sacramento, Brian Heap, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, we think about our parents and all this and just kind of getting on Facebook now. Is there anything else, Brian, that could make them a target on social media? Yeah, you know, one thing that he brought up to me tonight that I hadn't thought about myself is with pictures. You put on, you put a picture on Facebook, for example, from your vacation. You may not necessarily say where you are when the picture was taken, but it, depending on what the settings are on your phone, there could be some GPS technology embedded within that photo that will tell people exactly where you are, right to about 10 feet. Great. Yeah, always good, too, to wait till you get back, just in case. Brian, great tips tonight. Thank you for that. And we should mention it's also important to make sure your contact information is hidden so thieves don't have easier access to you. Brian says you can check your privacy settings to make sure your email addresses, your phone numbers, and addresses are all set to private. Just takes an extra couple minutes to go in and check things off. Sometimes it it's good to not share too yeah. much. All right.